you are watching KSG News Explainer. In this video, we are going to talk about the first joint statement on nuke war. This is for GS Paper 2, International Relations. The permanent member nations of the United States Security Council have called for the further prevention of nuclear weapons, stressing that a nuclear war will have far-reaching consequences, cannot be won and must never be fought. China, France, Russia, the UK and the US consider the avoidance of war between the nuclear weapon states and the reduction of strategic risks as our foremost responsibilities, the permanent five member nation said in a joint statement. Let's elaborate and get into the details on what they said. They affirm that a nuclear war cannot be won and must never be fought as nuclear use would have far-reaching consequences. The nuclear weapons, for as long as they continue to exist, should serve defensive purposes, deter aggression and prevent war. We believe strongly that the further spread of such weapons must be prevented. They committed to our Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, that is NPT, obligations, including our Article 6 obligation to pursue negotiations in good faith on effective measures relating to cessation of the nuclear arms race at an early date and to nuclear disarmament and on a treaty on general and complete disarmament under strict and effective international control. The permanent nations underline the desire to work with all states to create a security environment more conducive to progress on disarmament with the ultimate goal of a world without nuclear weapons with undiminished security for all. Nations intended to continue seeking bilateral and multilateral diplomatic approaches to avoid military confrontations, strengthen stability and predictability, increase mutual understanding and confidence, and prevent an arms race that would benefit none and endanger all. Going into some background details now, the NPT is a landmark international treaty whose objective is to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons and weapons technology, to promote cooperation in the peaceful uses of nuclear energy and to further the goal of achieving nuclear disarmament and a general and complete disarmament. The treaty represents the only binding commitment in a multilateral treaty to the goal of disarmament by the nuclear weapon states. Opened for signature in 1968, the treaty entered into force in 1970. On 11th of May 1995, the treaty was extended indefinitely. A total of 191 states have joined the treaty, including the five nuclear weapon states. That's all we could pack in in this explainer. Stay tuned for more such videos. To join KSG India courses and to crack the IS exam, visit ksgindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this explainer on ksgindia.com. Thanks for watching.